Do you need crutches? Do you know how to adjust them or how to use them correctly? We're going to show you everything you need to know. Right now. That's right. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, Bob. If you need crutches, you know someone that needs them, the first thing you need to do is to adjust them for the proper height for under the armpits as well as for the hands. Yeah, because they can really cause a lot of damage if yep. they're wrong. Right. It or, can, and on discomfort. Right. You can fall. You can irritate your brachial plexus. Right. We'll talk about that. And cause hand problems, yep. uh, soreness and whatnot. So uh, what you do is you'll take your crutches. And typically, most people have these are nice aluminum ones. Right. Hopefully, you don't have the old wooden ones. It's the same concept. They're just harder to work with. So I've got this. And you put the crutch about six inches away from your toe, about a 45 degree angle out, and do that yep. with both of them. I've got this one not adjusted properly for just for demonstration purposes. So what you need to do is while the crutch is there and you got your feet shoulder width apart, put that, the rest for the armpit right there and you see. You should be able to get two fingers in there. Yep. Comfortably. Yep. And I actually go two or three, depending right. on the person, kind of. But there should be a gap in there. Now, this crutch, actually, it's a little tight for me. Right. And I, and I cannot adjust it any lower. So sure. I, I could use these. It would be kind of a borderline. Like, you know, this one's obviously way too tall. Right. Uh, and these are so nice to adjust. Typically, these lumens, you, you can just uh, drop them down. And they're little buttons that click in, and they lock. Right. and. There we go. Yeah. How about the hands, Brad? Good, good, good. So I'm going to go back to here, put the armpits, or the, uh, the rest right here in my armpits. Now, if I let my arms hang loose, this handle should go right about at the wrist. At the wrist. Yep. So that's way too high. You can see on this one, this one's too low. And they all adjust, not all, but some adjust a little differently, but they're usually pretty handy nowadays to adjust. He just there. pulls it out yep. and slides along. Yep, there we go. And make sure you know, typically they have the same. Again, this one doesn't fit you right, bad, right? Oops, there we go. It's well. a little too high for you, Ed? Well, it's all right right now. Oh. I'd give it a try. Sure. Yep. Now, Michelle mentioned that uh, if you're going to use crutches a lot, yep. you probably need to pat them. Yeah, so we got a nice example. Yeah, if you're using these for a week or two in a row and all the time, you want to avoid. See, what happens if, if these push into your armpits too hard, it can hurt your brachial plexus, right. a nerve complex. But even if they're not touching, because you're supposed to bear all your weight through right. your arms and your hands, but it's still kind of irritates. Rubs on the skin. Yep. Right. So here we have uh, just a nice duct tape. I uh -huh, like that. Yeah, this is Chris's nice smooth. daughter or son. I'm not sure who used right. it. They just put a towel around and there, they also duct put taped some it. Tape around the hand. Yep. To cushion a yep. little bit. You can either buy extra cushions, right. or you can make shift and do what you need to do. My wife, when she used crutches last, we did. We found them online. Yep. Oh, the, the the pads. Yeah, she liked them. And I they really they loved those. plopped on really yep. nice and easy. easy. Yep. Yep. Very good. That's the way to go. Okay. Next, we're going to show you how to walk with these safely. All right, how to uh, do the gait or the sequencing properly right. with a crutch. Very important. Make sure your rubber tips are good and healthy because if they ha happen to be wore out or wore down to the metal, that is a definitely a recipe for falling. So make sure you got good tips. Yeah, take a look and if they're smooth, that's not a bad. That's a bad sign. Yeah, they're actually like a little cup in there, right. suction cup. Let's say you got a little. Uh, grippies in there, they're nice. So uh, here, I'm not showing off my leg, Bob. Right. I, this is supposed <laughs> this, yeah, this is a pretty uh, ugly thing. But it, this is represents the injured leg. So you'll take the crutches. They go forward. This is the injured leg. I can't put any weight through it. And You're showing non-weight bearing. Non-weight bearing. Now, I always teach people, just take this leg and hop up to the crutches. 
It's safe. Right. It's easy to, to negotiate that way. And always happens when I have younger people, right. then and they get good at it, and then swing. it's time to do yeah. this and really have a ball. You've got to have good strength and yeah. good balance. Yeah, so it's really... You fall backwards. Yes. Make sure you've got shoes that's got a rub around, because if you have socks and you slip on a smooth floor, especially doing the swing through, it's a problem. You'll break the other leg. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. All right. The other scenario is the doctor says, oh, you can put a little weight on there, but not full weight. And they call it weight bearing as tolerated. If there's no pain, uh, you can put a little more weight on. So I'm going to be toe touching. The sequence is really the same. We're still going to go forward and swing through. Whoop. You go forward. Out. If you, if you want to touch there, you can do this. And you can see I'm just touching with my toe. 25% weight bearing, uh, for example, uh, but there isn't that much difference. Now, occasionally, they'll s give a weight limit, say like, 20 pounds or 40 pounds. Right. And we actually got to get a scale out yep. and put your foot on. Yeah, just a, a regular bathroom scale. That's all we ever right. use. Just put it on there and have the patient push down and tell you, if they say 50 pound weight bearing, tell you get 50 pounds. Usually it's 10 or 20, something lighter, just so you get an idea. Yeah, by 50, it's usually weight bearing at its top. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, all right. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, some people will only need one crutch. Now, if you are no weight bearing on your injured leg, we do not recommend right. going with one crutch. You can do it, but it's one of those things that's pretty high risk. Uh, so uh, if you've got, here's my injured leg, the doctor says, well, you can put some weight on it, and actually you can put most of your weight, but it's not stable. So then you're going to take the crutch in the opposite hand. You're going to come forward with the crutch, and this leg is going to go forward, and then the weight is distributed between the crutch and your injured leg, and you step through. So when the crutch goes forward, the leg goes forward. Yep. And this worked out really well when my wife was uh, having trouble with uh, osteoarthritis. Yes, with knee. her knee. Yeah, yep. flare-up. So it really calmed it down. Yep. And how long did she use it? Uh, probably three or four weeks. Good. Yeah. I mean, so She at first said, no way. And then <laughs> it got so bad, she started using she it. She gave in. Yeah, she yeah. gave in. And now it, she's running. Again, yeah, so, so it's here yeah, and gone. It really so wonderful. Difference. All right. And the final aspect of using crutches, uh, and this is, can be a, a challenging thing, is getting on yeah, and sure off the can. chair uh, when you have no weight bearing on one leg. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. Line yourself up with the chair. Make sure you pick a steady chair, and one with armrest, preferably. That's the way to go. Now, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go until I feel this leg touch the chair, so I know I'm close enough. Okay. Put both crutches on the side with the injured leg. I'm gonna grab him right here and reach back for the armrest, get this leg out, and down we go. Yeah. Now, I would say, Brad, you probably want to avoid sitting on a soft couch. Exactly. Because you sink way too far in. Yep. And in fact, in a chair, a regular chair, you may even want to put a pad. Yep. I, I'll talk about going up and then we'll do the pad. Sure, yeah, sounds good. Now, if you're getting out of a chair, you do the same thing, Put both crutches there so that when you get up, they're available to you. Grab here, one hand on the armrest, protect the leg up in the air, push and up. push up. Now, what will happen, and that does happen with people, if their chair or their leg is not strong enough, oh, <laughs> boy. I didn't. already helped you. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bob just put about an inch and a half cushion right. in there. And now I can get up with one hand. What easy. a difference it makes. Yeah. You may use a pillow, you can use whatever it takes right. that's comfortable to elevate the, the chair. Even one inch can be a big difference between struggling and getting up comfortably. Is it catapult? Yeah. <laughs> Off you go. Yes. So, yeah, crutches can be a, a nice thing. Learn how to use them properly and be careful. You'll get tired of them. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get over them. <laughs>